As we've mentioned, it was 80 years ago today, in 1944, that Allied forces stormed the beaches here in Normandy to liberate Europe. Now, in 2024, veterans are returning to pay tribute to their fallen comrades and to ensure the world never forgets that sacrifice. As time marches on, the number of those from that greatest generation returning here grows fewer and fewer. But for those who are here, their voices ring louder than ever. On D-Day, the pursuit to take back Europe had begun. In the Channel was the relentless bombardment from the greatest armada the world had ever seen. And beyond these cliffs was a country praying to be free of tyranny that had plagued the continent of Europe for over four years. Those prayers were finally answered as liberating angels arrived from the sea and air, wave after wave, until freedom was restored. For the people of France, since June 6, 1944, you have always been their liberators. From the moment you arrived on this soil, it has been a part of you. On each anniversary to the Norman people, you have been family returning home. This is what we fought for, you know. This is a different. Your presence here is a testament to the boys who gave their lives and with the same strength and honor you had nearly 80 years ago, you represent all those who fought to take back Europe. It was your duty to serve. It is our duty to remember. Oh, this brings back to a really fighting memory out there. Yeah. At the Best Defense Foundation, we recognize the deep longing with our veterans to return to the places where they fought and to honor the comrades they lost. You're going to see something like you've never seen before. Boo! 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 Are you having any fun? Woo! What you getting out of living? This is wonderful! You're old and gray. Still okay? Have a little fun. People are friends. I'm the luckiest man in the world. What good is what you got if you're not poor? <laughs> Having any fun? Uh, let me back up just a little bit. Did they across the ocean into France? I have not been back to Normandy. We're getting ready to embark on this incredible journey across the Atlantic to land in Normandy, France, thanks to Delta Airlines and Michelin. You were barely out of high school when you were called to join a global fight against tyranny. You left your cities, small towns, not knowing if you would ever see home again. Without your courage, this world would be a vastly different world. Amen. Welcome to Normandy. You guys are back, some of you for the first time. I As I look at these French people here, it brings memories back to 79 years ago. This is my first trip back here. I could not imagine that many people coming out to welcome us. For the most part, we were children of the 20s, citizen soldiers, draftees, and volunteers. We did not experience the carefree days of childhood. These men were as tough as the times in which we were raised and engaged the Germans in mortal combat. For a brief moment in history, these men held our nation's destiny in their hands. We did not fail. It was a hell that had to be endured, and we endured it. But the cost of victory was high. They're ordinary soldiers, yet they're exceptional in every way. It is in this cemetery that we bear witness to the daunting threats to freedom and the cost required to remain free. 21,000 young German soldiers are buried here. 80% were just 20 years old. What a strong, moving symbol 
for you to be here today. We lost a lot of men, and they lost a lot of men. We were both in 18, 19, and I had a great hatred for them. Somehow, the ceremony like this helped to shake that hatred. Well, the majority of them were just simple people, just the same as we were. You came from another country to liberate the French people, and we will never forget that. On this day, 29 years ago, young American soldiers landed on French soil to fight for us and giving their life for our freedom. For us, the youngsters, this day will remain in our memories and will guide us in the building of our futures. Right back where it started. 79 years ago, this very beach was a theater of humanity's determination. We'll carry on our scars, but not in vain. I love you. Can you imagine 79 years ago and coming back here and seeing this place? Put your mind to the fact that we were young guys. I was 19 at the time, and most of us we were not scared, really, I wasn't. And as soon as I got on that beach, I saw all these ships out there. In my mind, all these soldiers running in off of that beach. You can get it out this picture in my mind. Now that hope has come to ask questions of the men and women who laid their lives on the line to ensure your freedom and to put an end to tyranny. If you ask any of the veterans here today if they do it again, every one of the veterans would give you a resounding yes and tell you you were all worth it. You are our heroes and we have to say thank you for your service. To return after coming here as a boy, 18 years old, it's one of the greatest experiences that I will perhaps have in my lifetime. God bless you all. God bless you all.
<laughs> oh, you're the savior of the people. Here's the boy. Got a picture. Yeah, you want a picture? I hear a. No, you are out with your yes, I hear a. Only one of you. I pray for you. Monsieur Arlester Brown, au nom de la République française, nous vous faisons chevalier de la Légion d'honneur. It's been three years since we've been able to travel back and honor our heroes and celebrate the liberation of France. But it never took away our drive to complete our mission of taking care of the ones who took care of us. We can once again provide that opportunity of closure, camaraderie, remembrance that all of our World War II veterans deserve. We're all sitting on a moment that we're going to look back and realize that we too are a part of history. 29 World War II veterans will board a Delta flight and return to the site of the 1944 D-Day invasion in Normandy. This is a very special day for me to welcome you to this flight. Flight 9994 to Normandy is ready to board. 78 years ago, you guys came, Woo! you guys kicked butt, and you guys started the defeat of tyranny. Thanks to Delta Airlines for providing this opportunity for us to fly directly into Normandy. People of all ages have always cherished the memory of their liberators celebrating every time you have returned. The Best Defense Foundation team and these veterans will assist you on every step to be honored here and have this last chance to say goodbye to your brothers buried so far from home. The French and British Americans, we fought together. Now and forever, the people of France will march in your honor. They celebrate knowing their hopes and prayers were answered on June 6, 1944. This is, this is better than when the war was over. <laughs> wow. I didn't expect that. I got on a landing craft, and I had water right up to my chin. Oh, my. That's Fox Rat right there. Big red one. Memories, that, you know, come back. You're on Omaha Beach, uh, June 6th. I can't tell you how I feel. I landed here at 7.30. Just down there, it's terrible. There are bodies everywhere. They're floating. We can't, couldn't get them around them with the landing craft. We can't run. You can't run over human beings, can you? I walked on the beach. Yeah, you walked on the beach. <laughs> hey, and thanks for the sight. I never expect to see it again. We are the inheritors of freedom. It is our responsibility as civilians to safeguard and protect that freedom for the next generation and to instill in our children a respect and appreciation for what was sacrificed on their behalf. Love you. Love you. It, it's unbelievable. People say, what is a here to? I says, I'm here to tell you I'm not a hero. It's those guys up there that gave their life.
Just walk the rows of this cemetery as I have. Nearly 10,000 heroes buried side by side. Officers and enlisted. Immigrants and native-born. Different races. Different faiths. But all Americans. All serve with honor when America and the world needed them most. You don't know what you're talking about all that. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. And for those fallen comrades who lie here and perhaps listen to us, they've waited for us for many years to come. done and what I've been through. I've done it for you people, so don't screw it up. <laughs>